Hi, and welcome back. Today we're talking about traditional Chinese festivals. It's quite an interesting topic, isn't it, guys? Yeah, I love those festivals. They represent Chinese traditions, values, culture, history, and shared beliefs.、Uh, and most of them have become public holidays, which can give us some vacations. That's true. We love those holidays very much, and it is a good chance for family gathering and reunion.、Mm. That's so joyful for us. So, Josh, may I ask you a question? Of course, you can. Do people、uh, celebrate traditional festivals in your country? Yeah, definitely.、Uh, we have quite a few of them.、Um, I think everybody around the world knows what Christmas is. So.、Yes. Uh, I think that's maybe the biggest holiday that we have. We have quite some time off work and school for this one, but we also have other ones,、uh, such as Easter. This is another religious holiday.、Um, also, we have bonfire nights. I think this is only in England. In fact, it is only in England. I know America does not celebrate this,、um, so that's unique to England.、Um, But Halloween, on the other hand, is quite well known. Again,、um, I think all of the West celebrates Halloween. I, I think China is starting to celebrate Halloween now as well.、Yeah. So it's it's quite a fun night. <laughs> yeah, definitely.、Um, we also have things called bank holidays.、Uh, these are national holidays where they have some cultural or significant meaning behind them.、Um, And usually we get a day off from work for these, so it's quite good. We have quite a lot. That's amazing. And what do you usually do when those festivals come? A special custom? Well, yeah.、Um, for Christmas, as we all know, again,、uh, we have some time off work and some time off, ho- off、uh, school.、Um, the family reunites. The immediate family reunites. So mothers and fathers, children. They all come back to the same place. They have a big meal together. They give each other gifts.、Uh, it's a great time for the family.、Um, Easter is not so much the same as this, but it's traditional for the elder relatives of the children、uh, to buy them like chocolate,、uh, chocolate-shaped eggs, or egg-shaped chocolate. Yeah, and you know rabbits as well. I don't know what the connection quite is, but <laughs> this is quite traditional.、Um, the elders will buy the younger ones chocolates and maybe another gift.、Um, with Halloween,、uh, it was believed that a few hundred years ago, it was believed that the spirit world or the afterlife, the world of the afterlife, was the closest it could ever be to this world. Uh, on October the 31st, so they used to have、uh, rituals to prevent bad、uh, souls and spirits coming through, and only welcome the good ones. So that has changed quite drastically over the years. But、uh, bonfire nights—that's very British because there was、uh, there was a man called Guy Fox, and、oh, it's yeah with the Gunpowder treason plot.、Uh, they, he and his friends, I say friends,、um, they plotted to blow up Parliament, the Parliament buildings.、Uh, they had hundreds of barrels of gunpowder in the basement of the Parliament buildings, but he was caught just before he was going to do it and burned at the stake. So now we celebrate that by having. Big fires and fireworks.、Um, I'm not too sure which side we're celebrating. That he almost did it, or that Parliament prevailed. I'm not too sure on that. Oh, George, I have a question.、Hmm. Uh, like Christmas,、uh, are they mostly for family reunion?、Uh, I think quite a few of them are.、Um, I know that the ones that I have said,、uh, the family returns together. They.、Yeah. They might have a meal together, but I think bonfire night is either family or friends.、Um, it's not so much、uh, the family reunion, but 
because we all have some time off work and some time off school, you can see your friends and you can all go and watch a, a, a public fire together and a public fireworks display. It's really quite fun and I think watching a fire with your friends is quite primordial. It's, it's something inside your soul that speaks to you and your friends. It has a great connection between you and your friends. Just watching this fire, it's really quite spiritual. Are uh, there interesting stories behind those festivals? Well, yeah, like I've said, uh, the Halloween, they believed that the spirit world was close to this world and they would try to stop bad spirits coming through. Uh, Christmas, I'm sure you know the story, Christ was born on the yes. 25th. Uh, Easter is about Christ's resurrection. So he was, uh, he was crucified, uh, he was put in a tomb and three days later he was resurrected from the grave. Uh, and they found an empty tomb and we celebrate that by giving chocolate to kids. I don't know why. Um, <coughs> I like <chocolate>. Yeah. <laughs> And um, bonfire nights again with Guy Fawkes. But then we have certain ones like D Day and Remembrance Sunday. Uh, on Remembrance Sunday, we remember the people who died in the Second and First World War to fight for the freedoms that we enjoy there. Uh, what we do for this one is the whole country for two minutes during dinner, uh, during lunch, falls silent. Nobody says a word. Maybe you will hear a baby crying, but the mother will be trying to make it be quiet because we're showing respect to these honorable people that died so that we could live the life that we have. Yeah. And how long is the vocation for each festival? Again, that's not the same. Um, <clears throat> if you're in school for Halloween and Bonfire nights, they are very close together. Halloween is on October the 31st, bonfire nights November the 5th. Uh, that's very close, but you get two weeks off school for this. Uh, with, with Christmas, I think you get two, uh, two weeks or four weeks off from school. Uh, Easter, again, two weeks. But uh, if you're an adult, maybe only Christmas you get some time off work, not full to a full week either, maybe just a few days around it, and New Year's Eve, you can get that off as well. Um, but then we have bank holidays, and usually uh, you don't work on these days, but if you do, your employer will give you extra money, we call it time and a half, so they will pay you more money than you normally would receive, because Pretty much, yeah, because they know it's a public holiday and really everybody should be enjoying this with their family or friends, yeah. But the country still needs to work. So, how many public holidays can British people enjoy in each year? I think I think there's six uh, bank holidays, uh, then there's Easter, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, um, bonfire nights. Um, I'm sure there's a few more. Uh, you get to celebrate your own birthday, of yeah, course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you treat that as your own personal holiday. Yeah. But uh, you can also book time off work for paid holiday leave. I heard that most of the holidays are paid holidays. Is that right? Uh, Quite a lot of them are. Um, for example, if you book the time off from work, you can expect to get paid. Bank holidays, um, if you don't turn up to work, that's fine, but you won't get paid. But if you turn up to work, you'll get paid twice as much money. Uh, it's the same for most of the other holidays. Um, it's not so much it's paid holiday, but if you don't come, you don't receive money. If you do go to work, you receive a lot more money because they know it's going to be harder for you uh, and you're working on a day where everybody else is having fun. So this is why they do this. Um, so Josh, since you are in China now, so which Chinese festivals or festival impressed and interests you most? 
Well, I've been here for Tomb Sweeping Day and Duan Wu Jie. Uh, I, yeah, the Dragon Balls Festival. Uh, I, I like the story behind the Dragon Balls Festival with Chu Yan uh, throwing himself into the river. Yeah. Uh, I tried making some zongzi, but I, they, were, they, didn't, they didn't taste very good. Mine didn't. My zongzi did not taste good. But uh, Tomb Sweeping Day, I quite like that. It's very respectful. Uh, to, it shows great respect to your dead. Uh, in England, I don't think we have a day to celebrate our dead. We maybe a personal day that, again, is personal to you. Um, like if it was the day of this person's death or their birthday or an anniversary, maybe you will go to their grave and clean the grave and pay respects to them, say how much you miss them, things like this. I don't think it's a specific day yeah. where you go to your relative's grave or loved one's grave and pay respects to them. Yeah. So what do you do when those Chinese festivals come? Personally, I try to get involved. Um, <laughs> because I, I think it's a great way to learn about the culture. Yeah. Um, you can learn a lot about the culture by participating in these festivals. Um, but I have found sometimes uh, I will get involved and then go, oh, I don't understand what's going on, and I'll have to stand away Just and watch. And watch. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it can be difficult. I can tell you some traditional Chinese festivals. Please do. Such as the Spring Festival, mm. the most yeah. important Chinese festival, yeah. and the Natian Festival, Yuan Xiao Jie. Lantern Festival. Lantern Festival, mm. Yuan Xiao Jie. And the Tube Sweeping Festival, mm. and the Mid Autumn Festival. And Double Nine Festival. Double Nine Festival. Double Nine Festival. Ah. Yeah. Yes. And the Dragon Ball Festival. Yeah. Very good. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. Thank you for joining us again. We will see you next time. Goodbye.